Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Alex and welcome to the rodeo. We're back it again. Today I have a very special guest in the building. First time guest, the one, the only, Choco Maniac! Yo, what's yo, good, yo. what's good, man? What's up with you? Oh, you already know, you already know, just... Just chilling? Yeah. How you feeling today? Everything straight? How's it going? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> just, I'm just, you know, just anxious. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't really... This is the first time you do an interview, right? Yeah, I don't Podcasts, do all this shit. I don't do, I don't do it. Yeah. It's just... I just don't do it. It's just, you know. You're more you're more of an artist. Yeah. You know, I'm not talking. an entertainer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it's more passion with me. Is it difficult now that this day and age just everybody's trying to like know the artist personality and you know, they be in touch with the lives and the social media, Facebook, Instagram, all that shit. Man, you know how many times I have my page private? Mm. It be it be a business page for like a month. Yeah. It'd be private for seven months. That's how. That's just how it be. Cause I don't yeah. know. Yeah. No, I'm leaning on cause like where I'm from, it's like, you know, I grew up in an era where it was just no cameras. Mm. No, 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 no. Yeah. I remember like 2013, I had a camera around my neck. My OG like, man, what you doing? Mm. I like, I'm trying, you know, rap, drop these songs, you know, people killing each other, you know, we living in the last day, yeah. you know. Music ever, never been about booty shaking and big cars and rims and, you know, cause I ain't, you know, I ain't flexing. Yeah. See me, I'ma tuck mine. You know, I'ma tuck mine, ain't gonna say nothing. You know, people, they gonna show theirs yeah. and they ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what are you doing? It's like me, like everybody walk around with um the the, the Dracos and the Extendos and the switches now. Mm -hmm. Poking out, just poking out. Yeah, they putting uh, stuff on the gram on, on the book. Damn, I got this gas sign. Man, a real hustler don't do that. Yeah, a real hustler is just gonna go get it. Ain't gonna be on, on you know. I mean, you know, if you you know that's how you get it in, that's how you get it in. Me, I'm just from that era. So yeah. I kinda like see both. You know, the younger generation, then my older generation. My older generation, they all locked up or dead. And I'm talking about locked up where they won't get out. Damn. You know? I mean, you got a couple of them coming home and stuff, but, yeah, but for the most part. Most of them ain't I'm talking about life sentences, two life sentences. Oh, so that's like, you know. Yeah, and it's crazy how we see now even like the feds just tracking your ig or facebook whatever oh. motherfuckers see everybody, the serial number on the gun everybody got a friend named rico damn not me yeah because i don't you know with nobody no. type shit for real i just kind of like you know and if i start to feel like you know i don't care who you is yeah. how long i've been knowing you what is what's the relationship but if you start doing like snake stuff i just start to like oh Oh, let me just, you know, because, like, you know, you just got to be genuine. You just got to be yet. genuine and authentic. That's facts, That's though. the last project. Three songs. I could have put, like, six, seven songs on it. Yeah. I'm like, let me just put three. I'll just put three. Give them a little taste. Give them a little taste. Let them drop albums. I have. Yeah. I can. I will. I lock in. Two days, I have out. Damn. How, how's your process to to make the songs? Because we were talking about this off camera. How you have a lot in the vault. You have a lot of tracks in the vault. Um, is it you just go off the top? You uh, you know, you freestyle. You write. You punch nah, in. What's your process? I write. Are oh, you a writer? I write. I mean, I, I didn't punch in like one song. Yeah, but it was still like rope. It was wrote into play. It was like, it was wrote. Mm. But I still kind of like punched in. I punched in. Then I was like, okay. Punched in first, said a little line, bar two. And then wrote a bar two. 
then came back, punched in with like a bar two, then wrote like a bar two, then that was like the chorus, and then you know the verse it just happened like the same way, mm. and you know it's just like oh, I'm like okay, oh fly to the moon, oh for real, yeah, shooting at the stars, baby, yeah. wedding day jumping through, you know, nice pad in California, vacation trips to Cancun, yeah, fly to the moon, <laughs> ooh. You know, so it's just you know, but most time I like I, I write, I write, yeah. cause it's just like that's where the thoughts come from. It's like, oh no, nah, this this shit had happened a while ago. Somebody going through it right now, and then you just. But for me, it happened a while ago. Mm. You know, but somebody going through it right now. So let me let me talk about how you did me wrong. You know, let me talk about the love in my life. Let me talk about turn up time. You know, it's like versatile. That way, yeah, versatile. Yeah, I, you know, it ain't like, you know, I just you're not speak. just making pain music. You're not just making. It's just whatever music. I'm it's, feeling. It's if you. It's cute, it's cute day. I'm gonna yeah. have an up cue song. Hey, and that's just how it's gonna be. If it's going, we gonna turn up. We gonna turn up. It's just yeah. you know, it's just how I'm feeling, and I be locked in. Rap saved my life. Hmm. Why? Why do you hold so many so many songs? And not drop them. Is it? Is there a master plan to this? You know. No, I mean, I, I drop them. Yeah. I drop them. Yeah. But it's like, I drop them. But it's just, it's kind, of, it's timing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a big part these days. You know, back in the days, you probably could just you know drop. You know, you just drop a lot, drop a lot. But like. You know, you want to kind of like have a, uh, you know, have a like uh, a rollout. Yeah. But at the same time, I still do just drop. Like I just drop. I don't give a damn. But it just be sitting there and I be telling my daughter like, you know, you just make sure, you know, you know, and that's why I got to go ahead and do what I got to do. Like put it in the old, you know, safety deposit box, you know, mm. get another one, you know, like I told my daughter, you know, it's going to be a lot on here. Yeah. When I'm gone. You know, but I do drop. I do drop it. But it's like it's timing these days. No, yeah, that's that's actually a key thing because naturally now with music being so fast. Yeah. Like you said, timing has to be on but point. But at the same time, it's not so fast with me. Yeah, exactly. You know why? Because I drop timeless music. Mm. So it's like, oh, it's just sitting on a hard drive for a year, nine months. But it's still on. I, I, be, I don't be dropping nothing fresh. Yeah. It be stuff. I'm like, man, let me get this out of here because I'm steady working on stuff. Yeah. You know, let, let me get this out of here. And that's a good problem to have because a lot of people, they're trying to keep up and it's no, just like, ain't man, no way in you hell. Kiss you kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, ain't you no way. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. I am who I am. I know who I am. You're not going to trick me into like. You're not going to, all the gimmicks and shit, I'm not with it. Yeah. You're not going to trick me into like, oh, I need to drop on Friday. No, nah, it's Sunday. This is a happy song. Yeah. going to drop on Sunday. We're going to dance to this. Going to wait on Friday, you know. And if you ain't got the bag, like the bad bag, what the labels got. Yeah. You know, that's putting behind the artist. That's probably in debt. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody, you know, people know. The artists know. Yeah. They like this motherfucker. Who the fuck is he? Excuse my language. No, you Cause I know my, you know, young and gonna be looking at this. You know, his kids who, you know, see me who where I'm from. Like, dang, Jocko, like, that's he there. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be cursing, you know, but you know, no, that's true. That's true. At the end of the day, like, you gotta be you. you yeah, know, you and can't, that's the thing. You can't fall fall in, into the the mind games of the of the. Well, the and industry. one thing about technology. What yeah. got everybody wrapped up? It moves so fast. It's evolving so fast. It's just running, 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 running. It's just going up, going up. People trying to keep up with it. So get what that doing to your mind, to your, to your human brain. It just got you going too. You like, oh, I Crazy. need to keep up. No, nah. Yeah. You know what they they used to call that when I was younger? What was it? Keeping up with the Joneses. Oh. I ain't no Jones. There we go. I'm just I'm me, Jock Maniac. <laughs> hey. Big Cantonment. And I know a lot of people going to be mad when they hear me say that. Because yeah. they think they big cantonment. You ain't did nothing for the hood. You still mm. in the hood. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, it's okay to be there if you, you know, doing whoopity whoop whoop, doing what yeah. you're doing. But if you just falling by the wayside, nah, you got to grow at the you end gotta of the day. You got to get on. You got to get on. You got to spread your wings. Yeah. I mean that that uh, metaphor of the shark. You know, you put a shark in the small fish tank; it's just gonna stay that big. You put it in the fucking ocean; he's gonna go crazy. He gonna go bananas. Exactly. <laughs> Eating up everything. That's yeah. how I am. Yeah. You know they 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 forced me out of Miami. Mm. They forced me. The courts told me they weren't gonna give my daughter if I didn't get out of Miami, lawyer and all. That was the stipulations they gave you? What? Two years. Think about two years. I'm like, what is going on? Grades popping up, everything. Mm -hmm. Bop, bop. What's going on? Why you ain't with my daughter? Oh, what whoopity woo woo. You know your past record. Boop, 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 boop. You know, you involved, you know. Like, huh? Oh, okay. We, you know, you, a couple months went by. That ain't no matter. Okay, you ain't got a place there. Whoop. Got a place. Damn. Got a place. Liberty City. You know, that's why people yeah. are like, you stay downtown? Yeah, I stay downtown, Dallas. I stayed in Miami in the hood and paid more in rent. I had burglar ball. I stayed downtown penthouse. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, but they forced me out. I got to play. Did home studies. Okay. You ain't got no furniture. You know why I ain't got no furniture? Why is that? Because I'm trying to get my daughter and lead this motherfucker. Mm. You know, when I first like got the place and got there and stuff like Settled that, in, I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, Miami cool, you know, Miami cool. But I'm trying to get my daughter and leave. That's like my only like objective. Like I'm trying to, you know, get her and leave. And yeah. Like, okay, home study, you ain't got no furniture. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get furniture. What I get my daughter was a blow up bed. They say, mm. oh no, nah, that's a safety violation. Oh, go what the fuck? You, you, I'm telling you, go get her a bed. Yeah. So they put you so many barriers just to go get a bed to try to just get a bed, have like the fifth home study, had like four different case managers, Fuck. two different judges. One of the judges, she got a indictment on her because she had a secret contract with DCF, Department of Children and Family, her secret. and some other judges. Like, like basically go get kids and we going to pay you. Mm. That was the first judge, Lederman, Judge Lederman, Miami, District 12. Yeah, them folks put me through it, you know what I'm saying? But judges, uh, they told me, oh, okay, home study, five of them, four, five of them. Still no daughter. Okay, we're not going to give you a daughter. You got to leave Miami. Mm. And my lawyer told me first. Yeah. My lawyer told me first. I'm like... What? I got to leave? I done been here almost two years. I like it here now. It's cool. Y'all the ones who stuck mm. with all the people in the in the city. It's cool. I like it. I love it. But, you know, they told me I had to leave. They wouldn't give my daughter. So I left. I went to Orlando. Like, it wasn't exactly Orlando. Shouts out to D-Land. D-Land. Oh, if you don't know. Outside of... Orlando, uh, or? yeah, it's it's outside. It's between Orlando and Daytona Beach, mm. Volusia County. So after leaving Miami, that's where you went next. Mm -hmm. How long were you staying there? I stayed there about. <laughs> you know, they monitor you after you get your child and stuff. You know, oh, they gave my daughter yeah. after I, you know, left. How was that? How was that? Like going through everything, the hoops they made you try to go to, and then getting your daughter finally. You know, how was that feeling? You know, it it was great. Yeah. And, you know, it was, it was kind of like a sacrifice. Because one thing about Miami, they mm -hmm. welcomed me with open arms. Like, oh, you country ass. You the could spit you. a little bit. <laughs> you know, I knew like three promoters. Yeah. And all them promoters had something every night. Mm. So I just was like going a little open mics, little gigs, stuff like that. You know, just, you know, like right now, that's where a lot of my screens come from. South Florida. Like I'm from Cantonment, Pensacola. Pensacola, yeah. But like most of my screen, matter of fact, I'm going to just keep it real. 
Pensacola just now. Nah, it's like, you know, when I drop Fly to the Moon, that's when they like. They really fuck. With that's you. when they like, okay, let me check them out. Matter of mm. fact, I got the most screams out of Pensacola with Fly to the Moon. Shouts out to Pensacola. You know, I'm the mayor. I'm the mayor. <laughs> you know, it just I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you 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 could be my little assistant, but I'm the mayor of the you city. You run that. <laughs> yeah, I run it. You know, I got, you know, I didn't, you know, like I don't do this. Mm. You got me on the on the on the on on the worldwide, you know, podcast thing, you know? Yeah. And guess what? With you, with me, and guess what? Be back in two weeks. Yeah, man. You know, because it just be going so fast before you know it, time gone. So you, you stayed in Florida pretty much for the most of your life. You know, talk to me about that. Um, uh, where were you born? You know, what type of kid were you also? Oh, Lord. I was a bad kid. Not at first when my Uncle Joe, you know, because my mama, she always was a... A general, like a, she always was an OG. When she was young, yeah. she probably was an OG. You know, I, I wasn't born, so I don't really know. But she always was a gang. She did a lot of prison time. Your mom? Yes. Mm. So, like, my Uncle Joe, Ray, my Uncle Joe had me and my two brothers for, like, at least four years. You know, I was probably, like, five I say three years. Kind of like five to eight. Yeah. Stayed in Ohio. Oh, okay, so Ohio. Yeah, stayed in Ohio. I say like three years, but I remember like the winter, it was like blizzards. And it was oh, like, yeah. and it was like, north. yeah, and it was like summertime, we had to go to school mm -hmm. because during the regular school year, it was Closed snowing, out. so we was, you know, at the house. But, yeah, Ohio school, but when he died, you know, who y'all gonna go back to? It's three of y'all. It's three boys. Mama in prison. No, mama wasn't in prison. By oh, she, was she was just running the streets and stuff like that. Okay, you gotta come get your children. You know, your uncle didn't die. Whoop -dee -whoop. Yeah. We get our mama, we like, oh, this, this heaven. This is what we doing. <laughs> Man, we thought that was heaven. We were living in the shits. Yeah. We was living in uh, it's, and it was rough. And probably she only had us like two years. And two then, years. Yeah, and then she went to prison mm. for like six. I was going. I was getting to. Okay, it was. She was like. I was going on like nine, turning ten. She was in prison. I was ten years old. Uh, when I was 16, going on 17, she was getting out. Yeah. So all them years, so my grandma, did. my grandma raised us. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she raised us. She made sure we ate. She made sure we, you know, had clothes. <laughs> she turned in her grave right now because my hair was just nappy. She made sure <laughs> our hair was combed She out. was always but, on point. Yeah, on point. Yeah. But she stayed at bingo. Mm. So... When she thought we was going to school, we was skipping. Because she was going to bingo, 9 in the morning, getting out at 10.30, 10.45, 10.46, they'd be at the house. You know? So think about all them time, all that man, time. Y'all were hours. free, right? What? Running out here. And man, me and my brother, no, we bad. They, we, was, we was called bad. Damn. Bad-ass dudes. And so before you got to, uh, so whenever you were in Ohio, would you say you were you were pretty much a, a chill kid, or were you still wilding out there? in the church? Uh. My uncle Joe had us in the church. My yeah. grandma had us in the church too. Sunday, I don't care what happened, you in church. Church. That's where you know. Yeah. In the choir, yeah, just like the tree that's yeah. planted by you know, in the church, singing in the choir. You know, going to choir rehearsal, but probably only going once a month. Because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a small church. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like the same songs. So, you leave Ohio, you go with your mom. 
is that the first time you get the the street life taste? Or? Oh, heck yeah. Because, you know, I mean, Ohio rough too, but my Uncle Joe, he just kept he us was a, more He kept us away from it. Type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mama, she in it. Yeah. She's smoking. Think about it. My mom's smoking crack. Damn. Like, she's smoking crack. Right there. Took care of us. Like, Christmas time, we had a ball. Yeah. But, like, when she was smoking crack, the living conditions, it was like, you know. Think about it. We had fun. We, we were watching TV, and it was static. Yeah. But guess what? We seen in that TV. Well, I can tell you what I seen. I can tell you, me and my brothers know we come from the same, you know, we come from the same stuff. Mm. I can tell you, I seen Batman in there, <laughs> seen Spider Man in there. And our beds was couch cushion. Mm. And for you, was it a what is a was it a big difference going from Ohio to to uh Miami in the sense of like the lifestyle and you know, adjusting to that, or was it like I trust my mom and she'll She'll guide us in the right. Well, you know, I didn't go to Miami till, you know, years, years, years later. You oh, know? okay, okay. Yeah, you know, Cantonment. Oh, y- y'all were back in? Yeah, Cantonment. in Cantonment. See, okay. I what what sent me to Miami was my daughter. Okay, gotcha. Which, you know, it like, you know, she in foster care. What you gonna do? Type shit, yeah. Oh, fuck this job. I'm finna go get my daughter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just, that's what landed me there. But mm. in Cantonment... That's where you were running. Man, yes. And it, you know, it's a place where it's like Where is it located? You said close to uh Pensacola. It's, Pe- it's 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 Pensacola. Pensacola, okay. But it's the north side. It's, In a small it, town. It's yes, it's country. Uh, okay, okay. It's country. Um think about like, you know, me, they like for years they slept on me. Mm. You know, cause I, I don't flex. I don't fly. I don't boast. I don't, you know, I got 10. I don't show 10. Mm. So they they didn't even know what they had type shit. I just, I'm like an energized buddy. Just keep going and going. But the people who know me, they know like, I ain't just keep doing what you're doing. Like, you know, we here with you, mm. you know? Like, you know, just keep going. But, you know, I was overlooked a lot. It, you know, probably they don't even look. Search for me now. Be having to throw ads and stuff that way just to kind of, yeah. you know, you know, just a little bit. But it's like, you know, it's so small. And not saying to be like me, it's so small. It's like, okay, we see you and we'll tap in. We don't see you, we're not going to tap in. mm so for you that you man, I'm you holding the city down. Yeah, I'm going different places, state to state, city to city. You know, not just bouncing, not just there for a week or two. I'm talking about moving to these places, just yeah. trying to figure it out. You know, because I know where I'm from, and everybody else where I'm from know <laughs> you need to get away from now. Mm. You know, think about when your favorite rapper stay in your city. Shit, man. That's a problem. Yeah. You know, you should, you know, kind of like reanalyze, like, that's a problem. Like, start looking for the ones who was local mm-hmm. and kind of, okay, he ain't around here no more. She ain't around here no more. That, they ain't looking for that. They looking for the BS. No, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's we like. See it, we see it so much. We seen it so much recently, too. You know, all the. Or like you said, all the bullshit that comes with it, staying in your city. Um, what pushed you to to move out? You know, at this time, are you are you making music or are you still you know doing your own thing? <laughs> I'd be dropping. When I mean, did, when did you start making music? Because it's a difference between being a fan of music and actually being an artist and start making it. When did you started actually like just putting just, uh, tracks out or, or building tracks and putting them out in that two thousand. The end of November 2012, you know, I had a notebook full of raps because, you know, my oh, you've been people, writing. yeah, my people know had told me like, you know, right, I'm going to put you on the track. Mm. So I write and they like, you know, I go to the studio, you know, back in the day, you know, turn the fan off kind of studio, turn yeah. the fan off. You know, we don't need that in the in the mic. 
And uh, you go like, I got my rap, cuz. Girl, get back on the block. Told me to write, yeah. not knowing how serious I was going to take it. Not overlooking me, you know, putting that shade, you know. That's my cuz. That's where, like, the music come from. Ah, uh, yeah. Why? I was trapping, he was rapping. Yeah. I'm the one turning the fan off. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you trapping. Like, you know, and it's like, it's just different. You know, it's just different. And I wrote so much. He's like, okay, okay, you got another one. Go write another one. <laughs> so I'm like, when I got the laptop, oh man, that's when I went ham. But the 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 way I got the laptop, it was like it was meant to happen. Mm. I got the laptop three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it played out. What? Game changer. You know right how there. I got it three o'clock in the morning? Because I was up because the police used to knock on my door every other night. Hey, did you see what happened? Because it was shooting so close. Yeah. So, you know, I'm up. You know, and think about it. Probably I'm up at three. I probably heard a shot at 2.48. So I'm up. They come in there. Man, me. I see. Man, I'm up. I see. You know, I'm looking out the window. Wubbity, woo -woo. I see a car bag up to the abandoned house. I know the house abandoned. I, I stay here. Yeah. So I know that house there abandoned. They bag up to it. Take some stuff out the car. You know, like two little bags. Take it out the car. Jump back in the car. Put it like in a little garage thing, like a little shed right there. Speed off. So me, I'm like clicking. I'm like, damn, what that was? That was the, that was the back. Let me, like, let me that check that out. Was, you know. So I run out there in my boxers. Mm. With my thing. Because, you know, when you're in Ohio, I thought I was going to get greeted with a cake. Monty Rose, shouts out to the Lowry's. Monty Rose <laughs> greeted me and said, yeah, nephew, you need to stay out the way. Mm. Gave me a big boy. You know, bang on. I'm like, oh, I thought I was going to get a cake or some, you know, a card or something. <laughs> I get this. So I know it's different when I first get there. I'm like, oh, yeah. Lord. And, um, but I run. And I go in the little garage. I don't see two bags. I see one. It's a briefcase. So I'm like, oh, why the hit a lick? <laughs> Got the banger in my hand, in my boxes. Wangin' wang, just swangin', just going back on Running into the, you know, it, yeah. yeah. Get back to the high with the briefcase. Get back. Laptop. HP. Beats by Dre. Big boy, 17 inch. Damn. I look, opened it. wasn't no okay. password. Real G stuff, man. I still on got some it. mental B type shit. Man, I what thought the I, fuck? I thought I thought I had the, you know, yeah, I thought I had I the pack. <laughs> you know, I thought I had the money. You yeah. know, I ain't thinking about no laptop. Said, and the when fuck? I opened, I'm like, what the Like this ain't what it was supposed to be. Yeah. You know, it's like I jacked the jackals. Type you know, shit, it's yeah. like you know, cause like I'm already up, cause they shooting, they killing like crazy, so I'm up. And I see it. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, they took from somebody. Yeah. I don't take I don't take from nobody. I get mine from the mud. But it's like you Jack oh, the Jack. I don't jack yeah. the Jack. It's like it's like, you know, y'all did the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> you open and, it up, you see a laptop, you say, What the hell? With the charger. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, and it was nice. But when I first opened it, I'm like, I didn't think you about did, it. Yeah. I ain't like, okay, this is a nice laptop. But when I opened it and seen it, I'm like, okay, it's a laptop. But then when I started making music, like, you know, when I like, you know, really like uh, two weeks in, yeah, I'm like, oh, this is a nice laptop. Beats by Dre. Input audio input Sound into it. It was, was yeah, crazy. it was for studio. Yeah. I went to Radio Shack. Got a microphone. Oh, man. We living in the last days. All this violence, the media lying. You know, living in the last days, homie. You know, and I'm still kind of like passionate about like stuff like that. Oh, yeah. You know. But pretty um, much you already had the setup now. You got the laptop. You got the mic. I didn't have a setup. <laughs> oh, what was missing? I ain't had no interface. Oh, man. I'm just, I just kind of, because think about it, Beats by Dre, HP. Yeah. Great laptop. You just put the mic into the slot. And I think I had, I did go to Best Buy and buy like Music Maker. Oh, you had a little. Like a little, like a little recording program. But I yeah, didn't know yeah. nothing about interfaces and stuff like that. 
Mm. I didn't know nothing about, okay, this is how you control the sound. Mm -hmm. I just know, okay, plug this mic up and I'm going to have input. And if I play it back, it's going to be output. Distorted. Um, all kind of stuff. But I still just dropped it. And then, you know, I had people around me like, but like that's okay, but you got to turn it up. Mm. So next time, I'm in Fruity Loops. Shouts out to Fruity Loops because yeah. I always dealt with Fruity Loops. And, you know, I do, you know, all the little programs, I can run them. But shouts out to Fruity Loops. I always did Fruity Loops. And um, I started turning the little controls up. You know, like the controls, like the volume and stuff. Yeah. I went to turn it up. They're like, boy, that went harder. Ooh, man. I'm like, oh, they killing over grass and stones. Oh, yeah, because they killing over. Grass and stones, yeah. Grass and stone. Yeah. These days, they they say what it is. <laughs> they say what it is. No, you don't do that. Yeah. You got to keep that off your face, man. Take shit, yeah. Ooh, I drop love songs. I drop a lot of love songs these days. Damn. So now you have your setup up to that point. And like you said, you get your motivation from, you know, the, the stuff the that's going on. The, and the stuff that, you know, I go through in life or they went through. For someone who has never heard the music, how would you personally describe your sound? <laughs> that's that maniac. That that's, maniac. That's maniac. That's, that's job. You know, it's like, I don't really. Uh, that's one thing I always do my best to do is stay away from other people's sound. Stay mm. away from other people's swag. You know, I listen to everybody. You know, I listen to, you know, you got a hot song, or, you know, if I ain't never listened to your music and I hear the music and I like that song, okay, I'm going to like that song, but then I'm going to still filter through your other stuff. So it's like, ugh, man. Yeah, but just really everybody I listen to. Mm. Who are, who are your top three musical influences? You know, without even hesitating, the the ones that come oh, to your head. Uh, Dead Kod or alive. Kodak Black. Dang, Kodak's been. Nah, I, I, I rock with Kodak. Kodak Black. Um, do you feel like he gets uh, enough credit for all he's done? For nah, nah, no, heck. No, cause Kodak man, he has bangers. He's yeah, he lyricist, put, put melody, on, put people on. People yeah. didn't bit his sound. People didn't bit his little pitch line. Um, that that's a good album. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, so like fifty. Um. Oh, I like what's the name, man? And it's just been lately, Key Glock. Key Glock, man, he's been snapping. Glock. You know, but yeah. yeah, like, you know, like them, Kodak, 50 Cent, Key Glock. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, it's like, I don't really, like, ain't influenced by them, but I just like, oh. You yeah. fuck with the music. Yeah, what? Yeah. I'll put them, I will put their whole album on. Yeah. I mean, 50 Cent, the only, al the only place he can get out of me is Get Rich or Die Trying. Oh, yeah. This man, that that man. other, you drop 50 Cent, you cannot get no plays out of me, man. Yeah. And I, that's just how I am. I mean, that's a classic. That's I was doing push-ups, yeah. had a do-rag on. <laughs> I went back to school. I went to school, and they were going to, like, the ninth grade. Yeah. I went back swole. <laughs> yeah. Whole song, I eat peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, and doing push-ups. Had do-rag on, trying to get wave. Bro, 50 had everybody on that on that wave, honestly. What? And yeah. then, like, after that, I just kind of like, okay, that's a classic, but. All the other stuff I ain't really yeah. you know. But all all Kodak stuff I listen to. Cause my brother, my brother put me on Kodak. Free terrorizer. He locked up right now. Damn. He be going to people's shit, stealing people's shit. That's that's really yeah. common in Florida, no? Like uh but the, the whole he, jacking shit. Yeah, it is, but like he be tripping, man. Like he be talking to himself. But yeah. it's like he ain't always been like that. Is that it's like he got locked up when he was 15 got out when he's 21 mm. but he had went to Chalahoochee and stuff like that yeah and they fed him with meds 
when my um, brother got the out. Got... When he got out, it was just different. And then like to this day, that's the one I pray for the hardest. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I pray for the hardest. Man, it's it's dope what Florida's doing, you know, musically. We see yeah. so many people just yeah, coming okay. up, you know, the Rod Waves, like you said, Kodak, oh, yeah, right, yeah. you know, all them. Yeah, and that's why I, I, I don't like the top three because, like I say, it's a lot of artists. Yeah. It's a lot of artists. And Rod Wave, he won them. Um, what what makes a Florida artist so special, especially, you know, you being in the environment, you growing up there, you know, uh, just uh, being there, you know, what makes these artists so special that now it seems like the world's taking notice as well? What makes y'all special, I should say? I say it's that dirty water. Hmm. It's beautiful water. I just I just always call it dirty water. I mean everybody they own, you know, everybody kinda like they own. And I didn't everywhere I didn't explore everywhere in Florida, but Jacksonville. So yeah, Florida, I say it's the water. I say it's just it's just the water. And uh it's just a different type of living. Yeah. Like, yeah, it it's different. You know, it's just a different type of living. You know, it's rugged, man. Like, yeah. me, it's poverty. Well, I'm from $20,000, you the man. Yeah. You know, I'm at, you know, $25,000, my, my bills. Exactly. You know, it's like. It's a different environment. Yeah, sure. it's like, you know, it's just, it's just different. So if you're doing something that everybody ain't doing, it's kind of like. It's the people like going on, going on. But then you, okay, where I'm from, it's so small. People so small minded. Mm. Out of 10 people, two people are listening to your music. Do you feel like they don't want to see you? Unless you put that, unless you put the jewels on. Uh, they're you, like, like, you put the jewels on, you know, and put the frame stuff on. They like. Oh, he got it going. Oh, he got it going. Nah, he from a he from a small town where these little 30, 40 bands ain't really nothing. So he trying to yeah. get to a hundred, but you know, he's stunting. Mm. Fifty bands, you stunting in the city. You stunting in Pensacola with fifty bands. Mm. Here, fifty bands, they like regular. Huh? Fifty bands. Yeah. It's just different. So it's like. It's just different. Oh, yeah. So you get that different vibe. You get that more rugged vibe. You know what I'm saying? You it you don't get that classy type shit. Yeah. yeah, it just be rugged. It's like, you know, you brush your shoulders with somebody, if they brush you wrong, it's like, man, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah. You know, here it's like, you know, you rub shoulders wrong with somebody, oh my bad, man, what do you get into? Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying it's just it's just different no nah, yeah that's that's for sure like i i know exactly how you talk about how you know how people be acting out here and shit like that yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just it's different. different man different for sure let me tell you about here shouts out to all the ladies everywhere but dallas got some women that's oh they just lovely <laughs> you know where i'm from the bad chick yeah stick her nose up at you Ain't like she all that. Yeah. Me being where I'm from, like, you know. Then when I stay downtown, so many bad chicks. They like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, you spoke. Hey. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just different. You know, here they speak to you. Where I'm from, they like, you ain't got it. Mm. Like, you know. They see you already. You're like, they already kind of. Well, they like you from the slums. Yeah. You dirty jit. Mm. That's one of my names, Dirty Jit. Dirty Jit. Probably walked around with the same clothes on for three, four days. Mm. Pocket full of money. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's who you are, like you said. You know, you're not with the, I'm not finna, the I'm bullshit. Not, I'm not finna go to the whoopity whoop whoop, buy the fit, the way on the block. Mm -hmm. I'm putting on these same clothes. That's probably hand me down when I was younger. Most likely they were hand me down. Cause my grandma, she wasn't with no Timberlands. She was buying Tim McGraws from Kmart. <laughs> what no Timberlands? Yeah. My mama sent money from prison to get us some Timberlands. Cause we writing her and stuff, going to see her in Quincy, Florida. 
And we like, mom, we want some Timberlands. Because, you know, we young. Everybody, you know, yeah. everybody got Timberlands. We yeah. want Timberlands. She like, okay, I'm going to send y'all $150 a piece. Who? My grandma like, that bingo fell. Not really <laughs> not really like it bingo fell, but she like, we go check yeah. out the Timberlands. You know, they 100 plus, 150. You know, she got to probably put more with it. Yeah. Mama only gave us 150 a piece. Grandma like, man, go to Kmart. Yeah. Go to Kmart. See some kind of look like it with a little different stitching. Yeah. Grandma say, oh, them will do. Those are the ones. <laughs> we looking like, we looking at each other like, nah, Grandma. Yeah. And we at checkout. Get, that, that's how it goes, though. <laughs> at know, the checkout. Like and guess what? Walk on to school. Then my little homeboy, shouts out to Clyde Banks, Nick. My little homeboy, you know, he, he ain't all he ain't all bright in the head. <laughs> he see us with him because he hang with us every day. He tell his grandma, go get him a pep. Mm. <laughs> no, he, he got him a tip. He got, boy, the whole Callaway Street got a pair of Tim McGraws. Tim McGraws. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody wearing Timberland no more. <laughs> <laughs> that's the go-to like, Yeah, it's like, that's the go-to boot. Nah, let's go. Yeah. So... I mean, that's, that's kind of how it goes, because I still remember for me, too, growing up, I wanted some Adidas, some, some you know, original. Shell top. Yeah, shell top. Yeah. Freaking Payless. They had the four <laughs> the four lines instead of the three, because, you know, I didn't have it like that either. So my, my family said, oh, my, my parents are like, man, we got you. They saw how much it was. They said, hell no. Nah, 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 like, you got to, you know. Little Payless, <laughs> four lines instead of three. <laughs> that's how I was. Hey. But, but now nah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna not pay less. I used to wear Sacconis. Oh, uh, okay. You know what's no Sacconi? Nah, nah. You was in the same store? Um, I wore uh bro, I wore, I wore whatever, like from Shaq's to freaking Yeah, see I ain't never wear no Shaq because I always felt like that was yeah. a big man shoe. Oh pfft. You know, I wear like, them shacks. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I feel you. I had I, I didn't have Air Forces, but I had some Shaqs, yeah. bro. Uh, yeah, no J's, no nothing for me. Yeah. And it's still like that to this day. Yeah, you no, know, I, I, I got the purple. I wear the purple man shoe. What do you mean? The purple man. The purple man. Yeah, I don't like. You know, the purple man. He wear these uh, New Balances. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's your go to. That's the rich man shoe. <laughs> man, the purple purple man. You know that's why I say the purple man. Yeah, I was about to say. So yeah, that. I wear I wear. You know, I, and they comfortable. I wear them. I like them. People are like why you wear New Balances? Yeah. That's, the purple people shoe, like you know them purple people you know that when they're wearing them new balances yeah you know he like you know almost a billionaire they ain't even stressing about that he ain't think about no shoe he it's, buying he buying the white ones it's crazy because i once i got money i went through that phase of like getting everything i've ever wanted and it, it kind of got me to the point of like Bro, it ain't even fucking worth it. Now you, I've worn the shoes, I've worn the clothes, I've I've had the jewelry. Now, like for me, whenever I like you said, comfort is more important to me now. Now it's like, bro, if I feel comfortable and, and I fuck you? with it, like you know, take that off. That's exactly. Like, I'm 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 gonna tell you right now, a lot of artists take the jewelry off. Oh man, I, I guarantee you the next be killing them with them Cuban links. Not that, but take the jewelry off yeah. and see how many people pay attention to you. Oh man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what people do. The shiny think about. objects just <laughs> He got it. Yeah. You know, like I even rap about it. like you don't wanna you don't wanna listen to me till I'm flashing gold and stuff. But you see the label owners that are making bank bank They, they got new balances on. They ain't even wearing that. <laughs> they wear new balances, the yeah. white ones. Yeah. See me, I gotta color rise mine. I gotta have different colors, different swag. Yeah. You know, just different stitching. You know them They get the same White ones With the number 472 on the back <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know Almost look like Bobos Exactly You know Me I don't like I, I can't get them And one thing yeah. about it Them cost more than the ones I be getting Damn I'm like How much do those them, motherfuckers Run for Hey you know They're 85 Yeah You know But New Balance New Balance Need to you know Like sponsor yeah. Cause I wear so much New Balance stuff, it don't make no sense. I got the New Balance. Got the New Balance is on nine. There we go. You know, so it's like you know, and it's like I try to get every color. Yeah, 
I feel like their colors are A1 too. Yeah, the colorways yeah. because I have some gray new ba- new balance with the gray navy and those go perfect with like cowboy gear for me. Yeah, you know, that, that's yeah. So their colorways are always on point with that. I, uh, th- if I see you, if I see you in Santa Club with some white 472s, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be like, man, Alex got that money. Yeah, man. You know? But like when you wear the color ones, it's just like, oh, he just he just got a little swag. He fuck with know, him. He just got a little swag. <laughs> but yeah, I rock with new balances. So what really keeps you motivated to keep making music, keep dropping tracks? Um, you know, where where do you get your motivation from to do this? Life. Life, first of all. Um, yeah, it's life, just stuff I go through. It's like I'm on an island almost. Mm. Yeah, just 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 life itself. I don't pay attention to like people when they drop. When I be hearing certain songs though, I be like, this trash. But I'm like, okay. But at the same time I gotta have I gotta like devil's advocate, okay. Might not be trash. Mm. I'm just I just got a different ear. So it's just it's just life. You that's know? dope. That's dope that you do that though. See both sides of it. Because yeah. lots of people would stick to just one side and just Man. be like Think about how many people told me to stop. Yeah. Told me to stop. Go do something else. You need to, you know, open this business or do, do this, that do with that. a business. Yeah. You know, you need to stop doing that. So it just that's what really, really really motivates me the most mm. is the doubters damn telling me like go do something else man you in the you in the hood trying to tell me what to do yeah you calling me trying to tell me what to do you trying to figure you trying to figure it out too exactly you calling me just trying to like okay what you got going on you already trying to like get up on me see what i got going on for you can go make your next move but at the same time you're trying to throw something out there like man you need to do this no, I'm gonna do what the heck I wanna do. At the end of the day, hell yeah, bro. And that's and it's the, crazy because some people that be down down bad are the main ones that tell you like do this, do that. It's like, bro, take your own advice, homie. Like, what the fuck? Like, leave come me on. Alone. Yeah. You're like, you know, I, I hate to be a maniac. Yeah. But I kick you in your ass, man. Exactly. Leave me alone. You know, but that's why I just be kind of like. You know, you can't even call my phone. Yeah. You know, it, you know what I mean? You can't, people can't just call my phone and say, oh, job picked up for me. No, I didn't. Yeah. If you called, it probably was scam likely. Spam risk, whatever it be saying. Some other shit. Yeah. You can't get me on the phone, man. It's hard to. What you talking about? Where do you see yourself five years from now? You know, whether it be with music, with life, you know, everything overall. Where do you see yourself five years from now? <laughs> Living. Not just existing. Hmm. Where, wherever it may be, it would be in a great, I would be in a great, great position, great spot, great space. Um... You know, I'm. You know, I got some other stuff. You know, going going on. I, I, I. You know, it's like you know, I ain't never really did this and talked about it and stuff like that. But I got, you know, I got some business adventures that I'm. Other things going. you dabble and dabble in. Yeah. But um, you know, it's been me. 2012. It's like I'm moving into like, you know, a label. Mm. Like just pushing a label. Yeah. LLC wise, you know. And just find, you know, some raw talent and just push them. You know, it just gotta be authentic. Like if it ain't authentic, I ain't gonna put my bag behind it. Oh hell no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it gotta be real. It gotta be, you know. And like you said, you've done this since twenty twelve. You have the experience and knowledge to to teach somebody the game that yeah. you know, has that raw talent. Is authentic and just needs the guidance to really and the, set them off. And the thing with me, the only reason I ain't certain levels and stuff like that because it's the way I grew up. Mm. You know, I'm sitting in the back seat with a banger while my people and them serving. 
we got he got a bunch of shoes right here. Air Forces. So when the one so when you get in the passenger side, you don't see me. All you see is shoe boxes. But I'm laying back there like this, big boy. Yeah. And he just handling his business. And it's like, you know, can't have no cameras and mics around. Oh, that. You know, can't have that. So I'm still like, you know, I'm still like OG with it. Like, I'm still like, you know, stick to the G code you and stuff like you, that. Yeah. But I make music. Yeah. Man, I got to put my face out there. But I'm like, oh, you know, but it's just how I came up. Mm. You know, like my dirty, you know, uh, free saw, he'd be out soon. But he see this, he'd be like, hey, what, the what, hell? Are, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. And it's like, dang, like, man, you know, it's a lot of people we seen just go, just die and stuff like that. And you molded me into, like, you know, who I am. So it's like, I'm going to take heed to what you say. And you're like, you throwing on a camera like no you know you got you know it's just when you live a different lifestyle you just can't yeah you know that's why everybody got a friend named rico everybody right now got a friend named rico yeah but i feel like like you're doing the the right thing in the sense of knowing how to maneuver the situation because yeah. yeah. there's a lot of people you put the camera in front of them bro they just start yapping everything Tell you everything. I make love songs. Exactly. There's nothing gangster about me. The only reason Maniac on my name, because it's like anybody. Alex Maniac. Yeah. You know, you cool, you calm, you collect, you vibing. But somebody come up there and just go to poking you in your face, you're going you gonna to do what you got to do. Yeah. You know, you're going to go crazy. The switch happens. You gonna, Yeah, so it's like a maniac, but... Yeah, you just got to know how to maneuver, man. If you don't, you just going to be you just going to be out. Yeah, you know, man. You know. And and like you said, you know, the system the system's very dirty and you know, they don't they don't play fair. They 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 try to catch you slipping as much as they can, you know. It's a cat and mouse game. What system work for a minority? Uh, yeah. What system work for a minority? Tell me. Hell I'm no. waiting. Man, Not we, now. I don't know no system that works. Oh uh, yeah. You gotta just work yourself up out of that. You know, I mean you are you gonna be a my No, heck no. Nah, we ain't no minorities. Nah, we Man, finna take... these mom <laughs> got babies every day. Yeah. You know, uh, pinchy pinchy modern days can't even pr- reproduce. You know, it's like, you know, that's why they doing the um the shit with the the serrant, what the the, the serrant? Yeah, yeah. The, I don't know what it's called, but I don't know to, uh, what, what we call where I'm from when you having babies. You call it hunching, hunching. I mean, you know, it's but you know, I be trying to watch my words and stuff because man, words are powerful. Oh yeah, you know, and everything I done rapped about it and it came true. Shit, and I'm like, man, I just can't. You know, that's why I be rapping. love songs. Ain't no everybody got I, I'm not probably the only one who ain't got a friend named Rico. Everybody else got a friend named Rico. They just put last name charge. You know? Everybody. Who ain't got a Rico charge right now? Shit, man. We seen huh? so many people. Who? Me, I'm just, you know, I'm do my little casual thing, you know, yeah. my little, you know, my little Colombian here and there, and I'm gonna go on about my business. Yeah. And if she act too crazy, cause she is crazy, I'm gonna go on about my business, like I'm finna do. Yeah. At the end of the day, is moving correctly out here, like you That's said, maneuvering, right. you know, out here. Oh, especially out here. Yeah. Once it's all said and done, what is the legacy you want to leave behind? Whenever they say Jocko Maniac. What is the legacy? Uh, I'm just leave it. Just leave it like that. Just speechless. Yeah, I'm just leave it like that. I, I don't have an answer, you know? Yeah. So I'll just keep going. Until I stop, mm. whatever it be, just keep going, just keep going. 
you might go in a hard drive in a couple of days. You know? Yeah. That's how it be. That's how it be. Yeah. Um, For you, would you ever be a, or do you plan to stay independent or, or do you oppose labels or you, do you plan to sign? You know, what What are your thoughts on, you know, a potential label uh -huh. deal? I mean, it's cool as long as the relationship, though. Mm. That's what I would say. Uh, money, you just can't buy me. You yeah. just can't buy me. I'm not be bought. You know, but as long as the relationship done, stuff like that, ain't nothing wrong with no label. You know what you getting yourself into and stuff like that. You know, with a label, you know, you you, you know you reach the masses. You know, independent, you got to do a lot of the more work. work. You got to yeah. do a lot of more work, so... I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a label. It's labels out there, that, you know, that I didn't, you know, I didn't see, like, you know, like, you know, they ain't, they, they okay. Yeah. Like, I ain't never heard this person complain. And it's like anything. Like, if I get five, ten bands from you, you gonna be like, job, like, you know, like, you know, we all people, like, I'm gonna need that back. Yeah. That's what people get it missed and screwed at with the label. They like, well, you know, I got the first check, but that was three albums ago. That was like, you know, that was a lot of money they gave you too. It's a business. You ain't recouped yet. Yeah. You know, that's what people don't realize. But see me, I'm a student of the game and I kind of understand because I did different studies different books, different pot, different uh, audio books I didn't listen to. And just, you know, just, you know, just educate my myself on it. Mm. But ain't nothing wrong with no label. If they be like, oh, job, you want y'all this, you know, which I did pass up one mm. with a song got, I, I dropped on the YouTube beat. I didn't, I didn't know to figure it out. I ain't know who to contact. Just made it, yeah. I just made the song. It was high. Mother hit me up like, oh, we got this single deal for you. Yeah. Like, I'm like, go back to my roots. I'm like, man, let me shut this shit down. Private, my page went private. Yeah. I'm like, let me shut this shit down. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to know who these folks is emailing me. Mm. But it's the, it's the folks, they trying to like, it's the situation. They trying to lock in. And, and I and I'm like, you know, yeah. I don't know nothing about the business and stuff like that, you know. And uh, to this day, everybody still like that song. But it's, uh, you know, it's no ownership. Like, I don't own it. I can't register it. I can't yeah. sing it, get paid. No performance rights on it. I need all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So people are like, oh, why you on perform this song? If I do perform. Because, man. Yeah. Ain't no performance. Ain't no podcast. Unless it's welcome to the radio, <laughs> you know, it's, it's stuff like that. It's kind of like you just be on. I'm your... just gonna be me, like All you right. know. People know I put in the groundwork. You know why I say the people know? Cause the, I see the people. The people see me. I still yeah. run up on them with flyers and put it on their cars in Dallas from Florida. Yeah. You know how many conversations I didn't had about that? Like, boy, you still putting groundwork? I was about to say, and that's something I feel like it's an aspect that has been lost because, you know, people think that you just drop a song and it's like, people should flock to your song. It's like, nah. I man. was putting crack in people's hands. I wasn't tweeting on Twitter. So I still got that old yeah. school, old, like, okay, I got these flies. Let me poop, 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 poop. I stay tuned in to the radio, and guess what? I follow the local artists, if they follow me or not. You know why? Because your page came across my Instagram, or I heard about you from a chick or whatever, told me to check you out. I follow you out with your music. Because you know why? You're going to put me in them avenues mm. of, the, of your local city that I don't know. Mm-hmm. I can't get get in, go knocking on people's door. You uh, can't go knocking on door. Hey, uh, welcome to the Red Rodeo Hill. Yeah, I can't do that. You gotta kind of like gotta see it or know somebody. You know, or you kinda make like, those connections tight. Yeah, yeah. My engineer, the only one I send my music to. Yeah, in Miami, he was doing groundwork. Mm. 
Mm. I was doing groundwork. I was performing on Miami Beach, Miami Live. Rap. Get all feeling good. People shaking your hand. Woo, 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 woo. He ain't shaking my hand. He passing out flies. Oh, shit. I grab one of his flies, take it back to the house, and sit on the counter for like two months. Because I was going to another engineer yeah. in Cutler Bay. But he was closer to me. But, you know, me going to Cutler Bay, hollering at Dookie, it was a relationship. I know him through my Chico, my amigo. Yeah. I, he like, hey, I got my people know They you got a studio, you know. We went over there. And then, you know, he, the rest was history. Damn. But when he was, but when old boy was Jane passing out the flies at the little uh, open mic. Little spot, yeah. I'm like, let me call him. I'm like, oh, he right there. He closer. Damn. I'm like, hit him up. And then next thing you know, history. He dropped, he, we had a drop, Channel 7 News, after my car had got shot up. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I had got shot up, man. <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. Looking back on the music, what would you say is your biggest accomplishment that you look back and you're just like, damn, I can't believe I did that shit. No cap. Oh, more than one song? Yeah. I didn't think I was going to drop more than one song. And, and some of those songs I've seen the videos on YouTube and stuff. They they stream. They yeah. People fuck with it. I like, like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Shout out to everybody who's screaming. New Orleans, Florida, Dallas. Everybody they fuck man. with it too. What? I don't. How how does that make you feel? Like making the the music and and hearing people like really fuck with it like that. Like and not just <laughs> like in Florida. Like everywhere. <sighs> How's that feeling? It, 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 uh, it's anxiety. You know, it's really anxiety. Like, damn. Like, you know, it's kind of like real. a feeling. You know, kind of like, you know, most of the time I have a hat on and stuff, and some, and I have my dark boys on, and I just go. I'm like, you know, because I be, you know, everywhere. everywhere. If I move to your city, I'm gonna know it's gonna be my city too. Yeah, I'm gonna explore. I'm not gonna be in your way. I mean, if you driving a little bit too slow, I'm gonna be hunking the horn. Be like, man, <laughs> yeah. get over in the slow lane. But other than that, I'm gonna like stay in my lane and I'm gonna explore. Like I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna talk, not to no dude. But when I see the chick, I'm gonna be like, woody, 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 cause I know, I know, you somewhere around the shits. Yeah. And I like to be around that. You know, not not necessarily saying you know I stay in the penthouse downtown but um i just like to be around that because i'm from that so it's like you know i meet a hood chick what side of dallas you from you from the west oh you from the cliff oh you from old damn mesquite you know me i'm I'm gonna talk and then me with a 14 year old daughter it's like me i'm gonna talk you got i see you with your kids like you know what's up you got little booty yeah. grocery shopping and stuff like that i mean i'm gonna be like hey it's either I'm going to play the shy role or I'm going to be like, what's up? I'm going to be like, hey, or oh, what's up? Cool. You know, I don't know, you know, how to, yeah, like, yeah. pro, it'd be different. It'd be like, I have I come off, but it'd be like, you know, however it come, I'm kind of like, you know, get her, get her to laugh, get her to chuckle. If she mean mugging, I'm just get her to mean mug harder. You know, it's like, you know. Now you in there, boy. Man, I ain't still <laughs> no. You tell me no, it's just no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, song wise, what what do you think is one of the songs that you look back and you're just like, like damn, that's that's one of my my favorite or my dopest songs uh, that has been released because you know lots of people, some of the songs that they haven't released are are the the, uh, the most tied in ones. Ownership or just just release period. I would say released. Flex. Flex is your this high flex. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. How did that uh, one come about? Man, living in Miami. That Miami vibe. <laughs> I had a manager, a ball greasy manager, clean face, told me at a performance. I had it was a Miami artist there. You know, of course, Miami, because we in Miami. I'm the only like person who ain't from there, but I know the promoter, Shell. Uh, he ball greasy manager. Oh, man. And he told me. Pulled me to the side after I did the song. 
I did two. I did two songs. I did ain't none. I did not the same. Yeah. And I did flex. I did flex laugh. And then he was like, "Hey, that's the one you need to push. You need to push that." I'm he like, saw it in it. No, he he was there as a special guest. Yeah, I didn't know who he was. You know, I ain't from. Like, you know, right, I ain't from Miami. <laughs> no, I was listening because he because like he had a speech before my performance. Oh, so you knew. So it. when he spoke, he spoke he spoke a multitude. So I'm uh, like, okay. But when he right pulled here. me to the side, he like, you know, and you know, cause flex, like I'm mentioning stuff about Miami. I'm mentioning people, you know, who in Miami that you know he probably know of. Or they yeah. heard of. He's like, dang, how you know who that is? You know, I pull up in North Miami. I holler at Kingston. Word. 305, I'm plugged in with Jern. Ooh, man. You know, I'm plugged in. You know, I go to Miami. It's like, yes, check in. And it's yeah. not no check in. I check in when I go home. Pensacola. Hey. Hey, Phil. Man, who got the best wings? Who got the best chicken wings? Whoopie woo woo. Hey, call what's his name? Get to Miami, I call Jern. I call my Chico. I call Nune. You know, I call people like that. I locked get in, Dallas. Bro. You know, it's like, you know, it's just different. It's like, it's not checking in. It's like you say, locked in. Like, yeah. hey, hey, man, only on a budget. Like, uh, who who got the good food? Uh, yeah. You know, so, you know, people take that toe checking in kind of, you know, it just be a little screen with it. No, nah, yeah, that's facts because we've seen it how, you know, it's like we just both said, locking in is like, you know, we we cool with it. But checking in is like whenever like motherfucker be scared and just like ain't trying to, you know, get get something done to him in the city and shit like that. But it's it's different post, whenever you're locked in with somebody. Because they too busy putting a post on the ground. Oh, is yeah. it? Is it is it okay for me to yeah. post a picture on this block? Type shit. Ooh. When I get to Dade County, you think I go in places where they talking about we taking pictures? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we not doing that. You know, but it's just, you know, it's just different. But I still yeah. like it. We do, you know, three days, you know, hit you up, you know. And it's just, you know, and then it ends up being a good time. You know, it ends up being like, oh, I was just hitting you up because I was here but we done linked up and we didn't whoopity woo woo did this and that in this mm. you know so but it's good to check in nah, yeah you know? true um, so for you wh what is next for you with the music are we getting more more videos potential albums EP uh, more songs are you just building up certain songs you already dropped what's what's next for you I'm dropping I got mm. one in October <laughs> I'm dropping. Don't know the name yet. And I'm going album mode. Videos, yeah. I just got to, you know, I just be running so much, getting to it, the bag. Yeah. So it's like, you know, Bailey, I have a lot if I had a cameraman just <laughs> with yeah. me. You know, but it like, I just ain't stopping, you know, this and that. To be like, hey, man, come film. Shoot, yeah. You know, got my own camera. Invest in myself. Yeah. Still shoot my video. Matter of fact, I get the daughter to my I get a camera to my daughter. Oh shit. If I'm feeling that, you know, well, it's really based on how she feeling, cause she like, okay. Yeah, and I'm like, saying. you know, angles are important. She like, like, come on, daddy, hurry up. Just film it. I'm like, no, angles are important. Get yeah. this angle. She like, you know. But in that, yeah, she just, she just like, you know, hurry up. I'm trying to get back to my Roblox. Yeah. Yo, so. But other than that, it's like, yeah, I still got, you know, I got my people new from Miami, my videographer. Yeah. I got him. He already on the books. But it's like, he like, what you doing? Like, you already, you know, paid it forward. Yeah. What are you doing? Like, what video you made? It's like, I'm waiting for the right song. I'm waiting for the right time, man. And then he like, you know, fly to, you know, South Florida. I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to get you out here. So it's just, you know, but you know, I'm I got something that works. I for got sure. a lot. Yeah. I got a lot in the works. I got songs. I got songs. I got songs. I just, you know, I got a lot. I got a for lot. Someone who has been here for two years in Dallas, um, how how do you see the music scenes different? 
compared to Florida? You know, what do you like? What do you don't like? Man, I can tell you one thing. Yeah. I can tell you, uh, well, well, where I'm from, Pensacola, the music scene, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing unless you flashing a little money, showing your jewels and stuff. But Miami got to open arms. Like, if you go there vibing, just being you, they're going to welcome you with open arms. You're going to perform every day of the week. Hell, mm. I, ain't, I ain't got that outlet yet yeah. of where I can show up. Well, I do. I seen one the other day. I got to I gotta hit them back up for, um, for in August. Uh, but, yeah, it ain't as friendly. It ain't as friendly. Here in Dallas, oh yeah, at for as a for as a as a music, you know, not Houston, Houston, Austin, yeah. uh, probably a lot different. But my two years of being here, I mean, you got your artists and stuff like that. But one thing I ain't seen is artists putting in the groundwork. Everybody on the ground, yeah, you know, which that's kind of groundwork too. But I ain't really got that outlet. I mean, I know it's little places you can do little open mics and stuff, but I just ain't found like that one outlet. Like, hey, man, you pull up here. You know, I didn't heard like, you know, you can go over there at the tree in D. Bellums mm -hmm. and perform. Then they got one over there off the uh, R.L. Thornton, like right there by the script club. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know which one that called, but they saying they have open mics there. But I just ain't tapped in. When I was in Miami, was I was performing yeah. on a Tuesday night. My car got shot up on a Wednesday night. Damn. You know? So it's like, oh, Friday? Yeah. Friday we in the office? Are we going up? Yeah. Because, you know, it's just once you kind of like, you know, you dare, it's like, you know, are you going to stay in the house? Are you going to get outside? And see the or, you know? Do you ever, do you ever fear being an artist and the bigger that you get the target that gets bigger on you <laughs> they can kiss my <laughs> i ain't <laughs> i'm protected yeah you know so they kiss my <laughs> that's all i can say Nah, yeah that's that's true because you know we see it so much that like you said some people they they slip up a little bit here and there and yeah. they just you know it'd be the loose lips around them mm. it'd be the way they move It, it, it and a lot of it be the it be the glamour, yeah. It be the lights and the glamour for them. It be like oh. the attention it brings on. Them is, they ain't paying attention to the little, to 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 the one over there in the corner behind the be, behind the dumpster. Yeah, and all black, you can't even see them. All you know is you got these. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got your bottles, you pour, you know. You ain't paying attention to the one that's really hungry right there. That's, that don't know how where his next meal gonna come from and see you shining bright. Yeah. You know? He can stand it. He can take a lick. You know, that what that person doing right there by the dumpster in the all black. Damn, for real. Because we saw that with, uh, you know, uh, X, you know, from, 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 yeah. from uh, Florida. You know, yeah. he was just trying to get the his bike and stuff like that. And See, I didn't even know that. Him. I just know that uh, the kids and stuff, when I was standing down there, they were big on X. Crazy. I'm talking about like the kids. Yeah. The kids big. He had the youth in his palms, Him, honestly. X and uh, the Melly. Yeah. Why, I mean, they big on, on them Them kids, uh, 13 to 17 years old, big oh, on yeah. them boys oh, yeah. in Florida. You know, but it, with him, the situation was he was yeah. getting a motorcycle. We, they saw him with the Louis thing and You know, they pretty much like you said, you know, they, they saw him as a lick. Oh, wow. He was the type to like, you know, yeah. not, not, not stand for it. Took his life. Damn. Yeah, that's you know. crazy, man. And But like you said, you know, at the end of the day, those people, you know, they, they're hungry. They yeah. see you as a lick, man. They see yeah. you as a target. And, With your jewels, you know, it's like, yeah. boop, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's like me. I can't, I can't stay where I'm from. Yeah. I can't go back and stay there. Yeah, you know, give me 10 years, I'll be back by me a house in Cantonment, yeah. <laughs> where I'm from, in the woods, you know, but I just can't, you know, as I'm, you know, going up, I just yeah. can't move back there, because, you know, folks knocking on your door. And the world's big, man. You yeah. gotta you gotta explore, you know, at the end of the day. And it's big, but small. Yeah. I ran into a dude the other day. I gave a fly to at the music hall in Fair Park. 
Dallas. Yeah. See, I'm naming these because yeah, I didn't yeah. been there. I didn't, I didn't roll with them blocks. And uh, seeing him, he looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm <laughs> looking at him. And he like, Chaco. Like, Larry. You know, when he said my name, I was like, recognize what? Because oh, I had like yeah, a 20 yeah. minute talk with him after I, I gave him you. like my flyer. Yeah. So I like, I remember his name. Like, as he said, Cause I'm looking at him like I know this dude from somewhere, but I don't know. You couldn't put it yet. Yeah, yeah. Then, then when he said my name, I'm like, okay. And he was like, uh, why? Checked out your music, man. You got a lot. Hey. You know, and matter of fact, we was in Hardy's. Matter of fact, yeah. I'm, you know what Hardy's is? I'm no, called, no, no. But it, it's called uh, uh, Charles Jr. out here. The uh, It's Hardy's where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Charles Jr. I, when I see it, I say Hardy's. But I think it's yeah. called Charles Jr. So y'all were there? Yeah. Okay. He was there. And uh, he like, check out your you nice. Damn. Another person now just eating, minding his business. So what? What's going on? Dude, Larry Lee. He said, "Man, what kind of music you do?" Yeah. Oh, run to the car, get my flyer, give him three of them, cause you know I keep it in my console like a banger. Yeah. Like, boo, I be hopping out. Got like, it. You got my flyer. You know, fly to the moon. You know, once you link that, you listen to that song, it'll take you to the other ones and stuff like that. But this is one, you know, I'm still pushing a year later. Yeah. I ain't got the big bad like the other one. But yeah, and then I gave him a flight, like, man, I'll check you out and check you out. Then commented on one of my videos. I'm like, oh, oh. man. I said, he didn't check me out for real that fast. But I'm like, you know, that's dope as fuck. Yeah, I'm honestly. like, oh, Lord, you know. Yeah. And like, never know when you're going to see them people again. Like, it's big, like the world big, like we were saying, but it's small. Small too. at the same time, yeah. Not knowing I was going to never see it. See, like the chicks <laughs> I didn't met, you know, I didn't even still talk to one or two of them. But like, yeah. you know, two, three of them, I ain't seen since, you know, I seen them. Best of luck to them, whatever like, they doing. <laughs> and me, I'm like, oh, it was good. Can I hit you up again? They're like, man, well, you in the city. <laughs> you know, going on about your business. I'm like, okay. All right. I'm with it. Yeah. Um. What is a major lesson you've learned? You know, if you you started twenty twelve, what's a ma major lesson you learned as an artist that you hey. you could give to an up and coming artist? Hey, keep going. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. Don't let nobody tell you, hey man, you need to do this because them be the ones who wanted to do it, mm. but didn't have the heart or the drive to do it. And yeah. see, see, see your success. It's like they see your success, the little bit that you know you didn't done already. They see it like, dang, he did so much. But me or the person as a person, it's like, man, he did nothing. Really starting out here, you know. So that's where it kind of get like you know not not listening to nobody, not letting nobody tell you what to do, or dictate you know what you got going on. Yeah, if you want to do something, go do it and keep doing it and go hard at it. learn. Learn from the, you know, the mistakes. You're recording low, turn your music up. Mm. You know, you got one angle on your video, video get another angle. Yeah. You know, just kind of like learn, you know, grow with time and stuff like that. And just keep going. Even tell nobody, you know, you know, if that's what you like doing, let me hear. Mm. You know, like one time I did a, I did a, my cousin, my cousin, my little cousin, he probably 16 Rapping in the little den. He got a little uh, computer, a little setup in there. And going there like, you know, Jock, I want you to, you know, I'm home for Thanksgiving. Shit. You know, want me to kind of hear it and, you know, stuff like that. He ain't know which direction to go. I gave him a verse, for, you know, just free. Yeah. I don't do verses. I'm not going to charge nobody for no verse. Who am I to charge you for a verse? Yeah. I don't care who you is. And, yeah, I didn't hit Drake up. Drake, you need to be on this. Hey. <laughs> No, for real. Like got you to, hit you me got back. To. You hit me back. You just hit me back. I think you need to be on this. I mean, I got a lot of other songs that if you just jump on, you just can jump on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got the masters and stuff. <laughs> you know, but this song, I think you should be on, Drake. You sound great on this one with me. Mm. You know, not hitting them up every time, you know. Yeah. And that's how I am. Like, I ain't, you know, did I get a DM back? No, but guess what? <laughs> I show... You still gotta do it. You well, still gotta shoot. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a fan of me. Yeah. You know, like you know, even when I be tweeting. Thank God for Kodak. Yeah, I like Kodak Black. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna sit up there, you know, and be like, man, let me just post this. I like Kodak because he dropped the album. 
You know, let me let me just tweet I'm listening to Kodak because he just dropped the album yesterday. That's what most of them do. Yeah. Most people just, oh, he just dropped, so let me show recognition. Next thought, week, another artist, same thing. And it's like, you know, you got to be authentic. Yeah. Me, I got the same people I listen to. I mean, I kind of, I listen to weird stuff too, though. I'm not, but they're not my favorite artists. Adele, Nickelback. I listen to all kind of stuff like that. Uh, you got you got to also. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah. You know that song? Yeah, yeah. When that song come on, I just be jamming. Yeah. You know? But I like You, you can't just put yourself in a bubble and then just. Put yourself in a bubble. Guess what? When that bubble pop, you're just going to be a pop bubble. Yeah. Right there in the same, you know. But you know how a bubble, when you, when you, you know how, like if you blow a bubble out and if you blow it slow enough, it'll be like two, three bubbles. Mm hmm. You know, try to do stuff like that. Like, try to get outside of that bubble and go to the other bubble and see what happens then. Mm -hmm. You know, because you, you just got to fall for it. Got to, man. You got to. Um, so how could they reach you in case they, they want to like uh, link link up with uh, with you for a feature, for anything? You know, how could the people reach you? Man. <laughs> uh. Man, it's just, man, if I see you, I see you. It's kind of like, man, I mean, you know, the email thing, it's, it's cool, but I don't think it worked like that. I don't be on the gram. I mean, I got a little, you know, a little label page, me and my people P. We kind of mm -hmm. like got it together. And, uh, man. Probably tell him to get up with my with Phil, my dog Phil calling back in Pensacola. Get up with Alex. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the rodeo. Uh, you know, Instagram, I I probably see it. Yeah. But it's not up three for sure. Yeah, months yeah. from now. Yeah, yeah. You know? Type shit. I I'm just telling the truth. I'll probably right. see it three months from now. And then by the time, you know, time been in the past, different stuff. That person then boop took off the <laughs> job just steady you know just skating along you know it's just like one thing about being independent is the pace oh yeah it's the it's the it's the it's the wonderful pace see label you know you got deadlines and, you, and we yeah. need the album by this ain't yeah. never had, oh we don't even like that album yeah think about it, i ain't never had a label 10 years i ain't ever been on a label never nothing you know i always had my own backing yeah. Like no, boy, put your money somewhere else. No, he shoot videos and they exclusive, so I'm gonna pay him. Mm. You know, I mean, I, I can shoot them by myself and edit them by myself, but it's just different when a person is a videographer. Mm. Me, I'm like an artist. Like I just do the, I just want to do the music. But being independent, you just can't do the music. Nah, you gotta wear so you many gotta hats. Do it. You gotta, you you everything. You the A and R. You the you 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 the uh, PR. PR, yeah. You the uh, uh, you the video. You just you just you, you got your hands in so much. It's you facts. know. So and then, but then you got your life too. You got your other little adventures you do. You got your family time. And it's like, you know. Like, oh, shoot, let me go ahead and do this because I got to do this. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and it's like facts. with me, like you said, I got so much. It's like, dang, like me, I ain't got no team. Mm. And that's the that's the biggest. I mean, I, I I have people, my engineer, my videographer and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's Dave County. And it's like, dang, I'm kind of like, you know, working myself way back down and been there back and forth and stuff like that. But it's like, dang, is that move back to Miami? You know, because that's where, you know, I got my engineer. I'm in the studio. Every day Everybody my over video, there. You know, but at the same time, Dallas got the money. The money in Dallas. Yeah, man. Like it's a lot know, of money I'm out up. here. You a know, lot. it's up. Nothing, nothing. Taking nothing away from Miami. Beautiful stuff like that. But, like, I've been here all two years. And, like, I didn't figure out different stuff. And, like, get the money. Yes. Yeah, or fact. the money is here. Florida. That's one thing about the whole Florida. The money is there, but it's not like more lucrative. See, mm. here it's more lucrative industry. You got different stuff. You got a lot of people you can run up on. 
deliver groceries all day, three hundred dollars a day. You can do Instacart. Yeah. Ask me how I know. Yeah. Oh, you can make two hundred on Roadie. You think them people calling and texting me? Nah, them notifications saying, "Hey, man, you over here and you know, um, rent like you know, you it's a gig right here. Go to Home Depot, Real pick quick. this up, and by you headed back, you know, downtown, you can drop it off on the way." Type shit. They yeah. go fourteen dollars. Stack up real quick, man. Man, There's a lot of money out here. A lot of money. You could ain't no way anybody. That's like the homeless people. I'm like, how yeah. am I giving you a dollar? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's a lot of money out here. Yeah, and people, people once they move over here, they see that, and you're just like, damn, man. Well, I'm from Chance to Slim or nothing. Here it's like, damn, uh, twenty five. I'm going getting to fifty. 50 bands. Yep. Where I'm from, people can't show you 50. They can't even sniff up 10. Shit, man. You know? Which I know these days and time, you know, you got 10, you know, it's good. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's kind of good. You maneuvering how you need to maneuver. But, like, where I'm from. But here, 10, is, you scratching your head. You scratching it, you like, oh shit, what was Nick move? What am I do? You know, you like, oh shit, what the fuck? you know? And then you start figuring stuff out. Yeah. And it's like, man, like people like I say, I say, um, I say I made it out of the can. Like when I'm from Cantonment, we call it the can. The can. I made it out of the can. Most gonna die on the island. Mm -hmm. Cause they don't know how to swim or they scared of drowning. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta jump out there in the water. If you I'm know, you know, it. you don't know how to swim. Uh, and you go to drown and you just got to, you know, figure it out. In the moment, you got to swim you out gotta, there, bitch. You, I guarantee you go to drowning. Anybody in their right mind go to drowning, they're going to stop panicking. Yeah. It's either you're going to panic or you're going to stop panicking. You're going you gonna to go down? You're going to swim? Or you're you going to drown? You're going to make it happen. I'd rather swim. Exactly. I float. <laughs> I float my way to the to the shore if I had to. I just learned how to float. That's why I'm saying it. I just learned how to float. Nah, for real, for real. And dope ass conversation. I learned a lot from you, man. Yeah. You know, best of luck with everything. I tell this to all the artists. Anything you got going on, send it our ways to promote and, and we'll post and all that stuff. Uh, we're pretty much locked in. Any any artists that you see on the page and you want to lock in, just let me know. Or, you know, yeah. if they do the same when once this comes out and they want to lock in with you, I'll make sure to uh, uh, hit you up and get in contact hey. and all that stuff. The, you know the price is going up exactly it's going up and like i said you know we see it with the music videos we see it with the streams yeah. you know you pull up the numbers and <sharp inhale> and you know numbers don't lie at half the end a of the ticket day. exactly half a ticket exactly. and I, I i i appreciate the support yeah matter of fact my 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 disc roll account i used to go in there and cash the money out i start cashing it out i'm like this ain't what i started doing this for yeah. I love this. Bought yeah. that money. You know what I'm saying? I just leave it for my daughter, man. That's smart, <laughs> you man. You know, so. All right, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, get notified whenever we drop new content. Jocko Maniac, we uh -huh. out. Peace. There he is.